This is a review video for Biology 10. Incomplete dominance, where one gene cannot completely mask the other trait. Now, unlike regular dominance and codominance that we've previously seen, uh, incomplete dominance is best shown with this example. Say one mates a red flower, homozygous dominant, with a white flower, homozygous recessive. Like a normal Punnett square, we separate the genes into the gametes, and then we recombine to produce the offspring. So far, this looks exactly the same as regular dominance, except instead of having red offspring, the flowers are actually pink. They're a blend of both the red and the white. So in incomplete dominance, if a red flower homozygous dominant is mated with a white flower, homozygous recessive, the offspring is pink. Uh, this uses the same letters as normal dominance. We don't have R and then white as we, uh, W for white as we did in codominance. We use capital R for the dominant trait and lowercase r for the recessive trait. As well, the heterozygous trait is different. It's a mix of the dominant and the recessive because the dominant trait is incomplete. It can't quite uh, go all the way to red. It just gets part way. As an example then, using our red flower and white flower and pink offspring, if you took that pink offspring, bred them together, um, and bred the F1 generation to get the F2 generation, what kind of result would you get? So in this example, take the F1 offspring, separate it into gametes, and once you've separated into gametes, combine to reveal the F2 offspring. In this result, we then have homozygous dominant, which is red, homozygous recessive, which is white, and then heterozygous, incompletely dominant, which is pink. Let's do another practical example. A homozygous red flower mates with a homozygous yellow flower in incomplete dominance. What is the phenotype of the offspring? Show the genotype of the parents and the offspring. As well, show the phenotypic and genotypic ratio of the F2 offspring for that particular cross. Pause the video, then unpause when you're ready for the answer. Using the letters uh, R for red and then lowercase r for the recessive yellow trait, uh, the parents would be homozygous dominant red and homozygous recessive yellow. The offspring then would all have heterozygous capital and lowercase r, and the offspring would also be the mix of red and yellow, which is orange. If you use different letters for your own cross, that's fine, as long as you have one parent uh, homozygous and uh, dominant and one parent homozygous recessive, and you are using the same letters for each. Now, show the phenotypic and genotypic ratio of the F2 offspring. Our children are heterozygous, capital and lowercase r, separated into gametes. The genotypic ratio and the phenotypic ratio for this cross would then be we would have one homozygous dominant, two homozygous, uh, sorry, two heterozygous, and one homozygous recessive, or one red, two orange, and one yellow. Of course, once again, you can always do the ratios in percents, in which case you would have in which case you'd have 25%, 50%, and 25% for both ratios. This is the end of the review video for incomplete dominance.